All right, uh, Microsoft stock is up despite, it's up about two bucks, uh, but it's up despite a warning to users about a monster computer bug. In fact, they're calling it a monster computer bug. A cybersecurity expert, Lisa Garba, on that. Why is this one getting the attention it is, Lisa? Hi, Neil. Great to see you today. And it's getting the attention it is because this is especially vulnerable. Microsoft has released this information. It impacts Microsoft operating systems, Windows systems that run uh, Windows, these kind of machines. And it's usually affecting older systems, and you can look up online and see exactly which version. But the problem is it's easily exploitable, meaning you don't need a password. You don't really need to do much to connect. You just pass the right code over the Internet, and you can get in. All right, so what's vulnerable in that environment? Everything is vulnerable in that environment. It really harkens back to about two years ago when the WannaCry ransomware malicious software infected about 200,000 systems across 150 countries. It basically shut down different hospitals, it shut down Nissan, it shut down FedEx, and really Microsoft is seeing this could happen again. It's especially important because machines that are running older versions of Windows are probably not being updated or patched as frequently as they should be. They might not have the right firewalls running, and we could see this really having a dangerous impact moving forward. Will there be a dangerous impact? Most likely. I mean, it's hard. Microsoft was in a tricky position because ethically they did the right thing. They let consumers and businesses know, hey, this vulnerability exists. We're, we're releasing the patch. So take that update and, and release it across your systems. But at the same time, they're letting malicious actors know as well, hey, this vulnerability exists and it's pretty easy to get through. You know, I actually understood that, Lisa. You helped me understand these complicated <laughs> things. Thank you very, very much, Lisa Garba. Uh, and again, it's not affecting Microsoft stock. Of course, that had been hammered early in the week with its exposure to what's going on abroad. So putting it in perspective and year to date, uh, not too shabby.